And welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I'm joined as always by our Vulcanologist, Fry. Ruben is along for the journey today. We're going to be heading into the volcano. Where we can find some new music. The music does sound nice around here. All right, we're going to head to the right and up the stairs first. And here we can find a new enemy. I'm not sure you can make out what they're going for here. It's uh, three kind of canine heads in a pyramid shape. Let's take it on! And here we can find both new enemies that we can encounter around here. So I'll be coming out pretty much every other fight after this. We have werewolves and a nightmare. Upgrade centaur. I don't think we've seen a Cerberus wolf before though. So let's go ahead and take them out. Ruben should be able to take out one of the werewolves with a morning star all by himself. The, uh... Oh, you went ahead and paralyzed and put my other guy to sleep. That is not nice. They put up a little white flag to surrender and then they kind of derp out a little bit there. All right, more sleep. That's to be expected. It goes for a bark. Apparently their bark actually hurts like it's a bite. It goes for a bow and arrow. This is not working out so well for me right now. I need Ruben to be uh, kind of fixed here pretty shortly. Oh, it goes for Quake. Now suddenly it's faster than me. I'm gonna need to heal so much after this one. It's not nice. Goes for a bow and arrow. More damage on Ruben, that's fine. I'm already healing. Already healing. And down goes the Nightmare as it gives up and tries to surrender. Both enemies tried to surrender, but I would not accept it. All right, before we do heal, let's head into this little cave. Try to go around it a bit, and you can find the white spell. What is white? Well, it's comparable to holy in uh, the other Final Fantasy games. I believe early on it was going by white, at least in a couple of the really early games, and then they uh, changed it for the remakes. But uh, in the original ones, it, I think it was white. That's a holy spell. While I'm here, though, I might as well hear a little bit. That's good enough. That is good enough. All right, so we'll head back out and we'll head down this way where we can find a ghost. And also we can find another nightmare. And as a result of our hard work, we have unlocked, well, the way forward so that we can find more new enemies. I'll take out both of those guys and meet you back here. With the red bones and werewolf gone, we're free to head down here and get ourselves a couple treasure chests filled with refreshers and heal potions. Pretty standard items, but definitely needed from time to time. I'm kind of hoarding them for the time being. So, we'll head up here though where we can find more red bones. Let's head up the stairs that the red bones was guarding. And here we can find fog and seemingly no enemies. However, they are hidden. And unfortunately, that werewolf was guarding nothing. So I fought him pretty much just for experience. If we head over here though, I bet there's another enemy kind of guarding the path. There he is. Another werewolf, it seems. At least I know this one's guarding something. We'll head through the small little hidden cave again so we can find explosives that I cannot carry because I'm already full on them. But at least we got the opportunity to get something out of that deal. We'll just head back then. And we'll head pretty much all the way back to the start. Actually, all the way back to the start. And this time we will head left where we can find a ghost. We'll keep going left now that the ghost is gone. We'll head past the stairs and over here where we can find two enemies that I will be taking out. And we have cleared the path as Fry does get another level too. More cure potions. That is actually kind of necessary. I'm using them quite a bit in this dungeon. And we can head over here where we can jump across and take out these three enemies. With those enemies gone, we can see there's nothing down here, so we'll just head up the stairs, which will lead us to more of the fog or smoke that is more or less making the enemies invisible, which is kind of weird that that's the only thing that it does. Now, if I remember right, I can actually get everywhere here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's no enemies there. Uh, so we'll just head into the tunnel where... 
we can make it out up here to find heal potions. Those are the explosives that I could not carry before. We'll just head straight up here. No enemies in our way whatsoever. If we do head to the right, though, we can find another chest full of explosives that I have not been using, so we're going to avoid them for the time being. And we'll just continue our path until we do find an enemy. A lot of the enemies underneath the gas or smoke, they are avoidable if you do know where to stand, but I'm going to take them on anyway because that's just the kind of guy I am. I'm going to take out both of these guys as well. As a result of taking out both of them, we can head up here to find ooh, a red chest filled with a mask. This doesn't sound like it's too important, but it will allow us to see enemies through the fog or smoke or whatever it is that is plaguing us up here. I'm gonna take out this guy and then we'll see what's in that chest. Turns out the monster was guarding cure potions. Definitely do need more of those. I've been using them as we have continued on. I do get hit quite a bit around here. All right, so let's head back down. You can see that we can now see enemies through the smoke or fog or whatever this is. And actually it doesn't look like they're in the smoke or fog at all. Really, they're just kind of on top of it. All right, so we do need to backtrack a couple screens here. Oh, it does not look like that enemy is an enemy that I can pass, but I'll show you that indeed you can pass through a couple enemies if you just go right on by them, never paying them any mind. But this guy, I'm gonna take on. Wait, can I? No, I have to take him on. And now we can head the proper way forward, which is up these stairs. Yeah, see, this guy you can just easily go right past, but I'm gonna take him on anyway. All creatures must die simply for the sake of my experience, really. That's the only reason I'm doing it. All right, up and to the right, and then we can head through here once again, easily avoidable. I'm gonna take him on anyway. We'll just keep heading forward where hopefully I can find more and better treasure chests or monsters. I'll take out both of these guys. Why not? Clearing out those two have led me to two more, three more. I'll take out all three of these guys as well. Taking out those three monsters allows me to head up here where I can find cure potions. And it also leads me to another werewolf guarding a treasure chest. So we go ahead and take him out. I'll also take out that guy as well. If I see it, I want to kill it. Taking out the werewolf on the right gives me access to heal potions, which I'm definitely going to hoard. Uh, but we can head up here where we can find, well, a new enemy. That can only mean one thing at this point in the dungeon. I'll take out her little accomplices on the side in the meantime. Accomplices down. Let's head up here and see what we are up against for boss time. We are up against Medusa and a couple werewolves. I'm a little concerned because Medusa is leaning forward a little bit. I guess she really does not want me to look at her eyes. That's the only thing that I can come up with. All right, we're gonna start by taking out the, the werewolves if we can. Medusa does like uh, going with that screech voice that is not necessarily good for me at all. Luckily, Ruben already got his turn in. I'm gonna go ahead and heal him. No. That's, that's probably for the best. Did... Yeah, he already healed himself before I went and used it. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Okay, uh, let's go for a spell here. We're gonna go for white. That does hit everybody, but I'm really hoping that Ruben can take out that werewolf first so that it only focuses on Medusa here. All right, that worked out perfectly. 1,300 damage done to Medusa. He's good. All right, we'll keep on going for white. Uh, Ruben, you go ahead and use a cure potion on yourself since you don't have a cure spell on you. By doing 1,300 damage is definitely the most important thing right now. Goes for Snakehead. Six times? Oh, that is not good. That is not good. No, I'm still gonna go for white here. Go for the cure potion on yourself. 
White does so much damage, it's ho so hard to pass up. And we finally get a change in Sprite here. And now Ruben is going to kill us all. All right, we'll go for the heal potion again. I'm not sure if he got healed because of that or not. I will not be poisoned, which is always good. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cure Reuben, and Reuben can use a cure potion on Fry. Hopefully Fry gets his turn first here. No! Medusa goes for Stone Gaze. And we're going to cast the cure spell, which bounces right back on to Fry. All right, we're... I don't think that the heal potion will cure Reuben, but we're going to give it a try here. Hey, it worked. It worked. They are forgiving in this game. Sometimes more than I expect. All right, let's go back to our standard strategy here of the white spell. And, oh, you're very close to death, so. And healing yourself. Ruben, please heal yourself. 1,300 more damage, and Medusa has lost all of her hair. And down goes Ruben. But you know what? I think one more white spell might do it here. Goes for Poison Snake. We won't be poisoned, but we do have White headed your way. 1,300 more damage and down goes Medusa. 1,218 experience coming Fry's way. It does not matter that Reuben is dead. He would not have gotten it anyway. And we have defeated Medusa and made it back out to the world map where we can head forward to the lava dome portion of the volcano. But as you might expect, I'm going to go back and heal, and then I will meet you at the Lava Dome once that is done. All healed and restocked on Cure Potions and ready to head into the Lava Dome, where we can find new enemies. Let's head to the right first so we can take this guy on. We have two new enemies here. We have Hot Wings and Ninjas. All right, we're going to start uh, by... Go ahead and... Get the ninja, Ruben. You go ahead and hopefully take out the ninja. Down he goes. Oh, he powered in fear. Flames coming our way. Oh, the other guy attacks with dive. Yeah. Cure potions. I'm gonna want some. Let's go ahead and see if we can't finish this guy off. Oh, we plucked that chicken good. Go, morning star. Unless you miss. That's always a distinct possibility. You could just flat out miss, Ruben. Why the hell would you do that? Better hit this time. All right, down goes the other hot wing. Give me the experience and the money. I'm gonna heal before we move on. 